What's up, fantastic humans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing another speed build in The Sims 4. We're continuing our one pack challenge, which is where I build something using one pack and the base game. And we're doing Vintage Glamour today, which actually turned out really, really well. I didn't realize how much of this pack I actually use in a lot of my builds. So that was pretty cool to see all the objects that I really, really like, and then just putting them into one of my builds. So that was pretty cool. Um, just a update on the Let's Play. Um, so I I told you guys last week that if everything was working, we'd have two Let's Play episodes this week. Obviously, that did not happen because um, my game is still broken. But I think it is just the save game that's the problem. So what I'm going to do between now and Friday is start a new save game and then just try to get us back to where we are currently with Eliza and Presley. So I'm going to send them back to college uh, in this new save game and then update their skills and stuff to the same levels that they were. And so hopefully all of that will be resolved. And then if that is the case, we'll have one uh, Let's Play this Friday and then I'll do another Let's Play video on Tuesday so that we're all caught up and everything is good to go. And so uh, if you have notifications, uh, turn those on so that you are notified when I do that. And um, so, yeah, that's kind of the update. My game is still broken, but I'm hoping that I can fix it. So um, now that we're doing this build, uh, like I said, it is the Vintage Glamour uh, pack that we're using. It is available, as always, on the gallery. And the information is right here for you on screen, so you can find it there. Um, but yeah, I'm just building the kitchen right now putting lights in under the cabinets like I normally do. Um, this is a really great trick, by the way. If you want some more light in your kitchen, but you don't want to use overhead lights or you don't want to use those saucer lights, if you put wall lights under your cabinets and then just kind of put them up into the cabinets itself, um, you will be fine. They'll still work and you'll have a lot of light without actually having to see them. So that's pretty cool. Um, this, this whole peninsula island thing does change quite a lot. Um, so don't get too attached to it right now because in about four minutes or so, uh, I'm going to be changing it to what it actually will be. And I think it works out a lot better because it was so small in the kitchen area. Uh, for such a big house, I felt like that wasn't really realistic. And then it just doesn't look like I wanted it to. So that's what I ended up doing. But I love this little entryway and I love that I have that uh, little wardrobe there too because I feel like someone would actually put that in an entryway and it's nice uh it's a nice change with, from the coat rack and the shoe racks and stuff that I normally use um, because nothing else comes with the, the pack so I think it just fits in really really nicely right there so and then we have this lovely lovely butler statue which I didn't know actually existed in the game um, but I found it and I saw and I thought to myself I was like if this isn't the perfect build to use that statue in. There's not going to be one. So I put it in and there we go. So we have a little bar area with a nice butler. And then this is just an accent table that I put in uh, with a, a radio and then the books obviously act as a bookcase as well. So you have two radios and um, uh, two bookcases I guess on the on the front level so or first level so yeah this is the dining area with a beautiful round table which I'm really excited that I got to use because I, I love the round tables in uh, the Sims 4 but they're just so big that you kind of need a large space to do that in so it was really nice that I could have this really elegant table um, in this build so and then this is the living room area with the TV and then there is another bookcase like I said before um, and I love that couch that comes with vintage glamour too and the marble um, little coffee table too it just works so perfectly like I said it's very elegant very classy and I love that the colors go really well together because um, vintage glamour is basically black white and gold uh, for a lot of their stuff so you can use blues and yellows and oranges and stuff like that and greens and everything really works out really well together I think so um, that's something I really enjoyed about this build is just the nice uh, touches of color that I could put in without it being overly uh, colorful but still looking really nice so um, now I'm just going around and I'm putting in some more lights because I was putting in the saucer lights upstairs and I realized I hadn't changed the lights out yet so um, that's why I add in like the pendant lights over the little peninsula area and then the floor light and stuff in the living area so and then this is where I actually change it to what it ends up being in the final uh, house I guess on the gallery um, so I ended up putting a wall down so that I could add in another cabinet uh, or counter and then um, just kind of 
making the kitchen a little bit bigger with the the bar area so which I actually really like a lot better you can put the trash can and stuff in there and I don't feel like it's too cramped anymore it just fits really nicely and then just adding those lights in again so that we have light under all of the cabinets so um, so now we're upstairs. This is a three bedroom and three bath house. Uh, you can have, uh, I guess, five Sims that live here because two of them are double beds and there's a single bed as well. So my thought is you'd probably have the master bedroom, the teen bedroom, and then probably like a guest bedroom or something. So this ends up being the teen bedroom that I'm working on um, because I couldn't fit the double bedroom or the double double bed in that uh, that first bedroom but this would be what I think would be like the master bedroom uh, here with the, this double bed which I use that bed in basically all of my builds that I don't like that aren't pack specific so um, that was pretty cool to see that I could use that bed because it's one of the best quality besides the um, one that comes with the base game but the one that comes with the base game is so expensive it's just like kind of crazy if you're trying to be on a budget or something which I think might actually be, be one of the next build challenges I do because I'm really really bad about picking out expensive things and like going way over budget so I want to do a starter home but I always go over the budget, so I can't ever have a starter home. So that's kind of my idea for what my next kind of build series will be. Will be uh, kind of budget houses and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. But this is the teen bedroom. It has an easel, guitar, and a computer. It also has a little reading area, which I'll be uh, doing in just a second. So you have a lot of skills, just like m most of my houses. You know, I usually end up putting a easel and a guitar in, just because it's really simple to put in and then it's a good painting skill and uh, music you know guitar skill to have it's really easy to get those and all you have to do is really interact with those objects so that's why I ended up putting in them in but yeah um, and then this is just the bathroom. If you wanted to build a toddler uh, friendly house, I guess, all you would have to really do is put in a toddler uh, bathroom, like a toddler toilet, and then just build a bedroom for them. So, you know, it's not too difficult to change it to what you need. So you can always download it and, and change it for yourself. So again, it is available on the gallery and the link is in the description and the information is right here on screen for you too. So, um, but yeah, that would be like the guest bedroom with the nice jacuzzi tub and a shower combo um, which is kind of funny because the master bedroom or bathroom didn't end up having the jacuzzi tub but I guess your guests are going to be happy so whatever but here is the little door that I put in with the deck that wraps around the house because I just wanted something where you could sit and kind of chill out and be outdoors and stuff and uh, so that's kind of what I did I didn't end up putting a grill or anything in here because I figured that they would just take it in from the kitchen and you know bring it outside but if you don't Load it for yourself you can always put in a grill or any kind of thing that makes you happy so you know you can do whatever you want with this build really um but it does have a chess table out here too which is nice because you can get the logic skill up and then if you have kids they can always um be like the genius aspiration or something um for the school part of it so that's pretty cool um but yeah so it has a nice um little pool area which i i was trying to do a classy kind of mosaic on the bottom which i think it turned out pretty well and then obviously the garden area and the reason i love to do gardens is it's such an easy skill to do but you can always get money from it too because you can sell all the plants and then you also just it's really easy to get the skills up because it, if you have a large garden it just takes you a long time to kind of you know, tended and stuff, so your skill goes up really, really fast. Um, and now I'm just adding in another um, two windows at the front, just because I wanted it to look more symmetrical. And that is the house. So this is the front. Here's the back, or I'm sorry, the um, little porch area here, and then here's the back with the pool. And then we have the uh, little seating area and the chess table with the garden and the pool in the background. And then here's the little entryway with the nice wardrobe and bar area, which you'll see more in depth later. And then there's the accent table. Here's the kitchen and the little dining area with the purple flowers, which is cool. Here is our lovely butler statue there with the bar in the living area here as well. Here's the guest bedroom with the vanity table. So if you have kids, they can play with the makeup on the vanity table, which is pretty cool. And that's the guest bedroom or a bathroom, sorry. And then here is the master bedroom with the easel and uh, just a nice 
little I don't know like wardrobe thing and then here is the double vanity for the master bathroom and then finally here is the team bedroom with all of the stuff inside with their bathroom as well and that my friends is the build so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up below and while you're down there don't forget to subscribe I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday so hit that notification bell and you'll get notified when I do if you have any kind of suggestions on how to fix my game for the let's plays or any kind of builds or things that you want me to do just leave those in the comments below too i'll be happy to try those out for you guys um but until then go out there be the fantastic humans that you are be kind to each other and i'll see you all in the next video bye